Hey everyone, welcome to the Guitar Log. This is Brian, and as always, I want to invite you to click like and subscribe if you like what we do here at the Guitar Log. We're just giving you real-world examples of what guitars sound like in the room, mic'd with an iPhone camera. <laughs> Nothing fancy, no studio tricks going on here. And it gives you a little bit of a player's perspective. Today, please enjoy this along with me because it's always a treat to play a guitar from the best in the business, my absolute favorite guitar builder, the one and only Bill Crook with a T-style today that you're gonna love with a unique characteristic about it, right here today on the Guitar Log. All right, so we've got a Crook T-style. You all know how much I love them. I've got some with G-benders on them. I've got some that are uh, just Paisley's, I've got some that are other finishes. This one is a very vintage style, and I love it. This is not the original case it came in, uh, but it was better than the one that I got it. A local guy had this for sale, and I snapped it up. This is a Crook Custom Guitars. Oh my goodness, T-Style. Look at that beautiful wood grain showing through that very thin white finish. Look at the aging and look at the relicking. That's what's unique about it. Um, this is not something that Bill does all the time. Um, so I talked to him, he did do the work and I'm gonna tell you it's the best relic job I've ever seen. This looks like a guitar from the early 50s that has been played and played and played. And I would understand why, because it is an awesome guitar with that black guard. If you want a black guard, tell it with a rosewood board. <laughs> which isn't what you'd have seen in the early 50s. Um, that's what I would like. So that's what I've got here. And uh, you can see on the headstock, it is a, a Crook Custom guitar with some nice vintage style tuners. And you can see even the wear on the neck. I mean, look at, look at that finish checking. It's beautiful. And, and when you feel it, it feels like real finish checking off of a real vintage guitar. Buckle rash like you'd expect to see. Beautiful um, wood grain underneath that too. But sometimes people overdo it on the checking. But this guitar is meant to look like a 70-year-old guitar, right? 60, 70-year-old guitar. And, I mean, even the aging down here does have a fender bridge on it. Um, the backstory on this guitar, it belonged to a local guy who wanted it that way. Bill made it for him. He doesn't really do the relics, so don't, don't bug him about that. Um, but someone did want it that way. And a few years later, it was... Uh, uh, eventually sold to a guy named Bill Duff. Bill was a great guy. Uh, rest in peace, Bill. Um, and I contacted him before I got this guitar. Bill, had, Bill Crook had told me that he had this guitar at one point. He told me it's a great guitar. Jump on it. I just sold it to buy another Crook. So <laughs> that tells you something about Bill Crook's work. Um, but when he did, um, it was renecked. So this headstock would indicate something like 2005 or later from Bill Crook. Um, as I know mine was, was in the early runs of those, one of my other guitars, that is. Um, however, this one was actually, according to Bill, probably built um, very early 2000s. And uh, let me tell you something. This thing sounds great. The neck on this thing is a big one, <laughs> and I do like it, though. It's a big, uh, a big, fat, thick neck. As Bill would say, you know, a man's neck. Uh, I, like, I like those thin, <laughs> thin ones sometimes. But man, it's so comfortable to play up and down. And it's just, even the, the aging to the neck is, is just realistic looking. And it, it's just a beautiful guitar. So that being said, let's plug it up and let's see how she sounds. All right, everyone. I've got one from the best in the biz here. Bill Crook, Crook Custom Guitars. You want a guitar with vintage vibe and modern mojo? It's got the feel and the, the classic sound of all those classic guitars with some modern appointments that make it sound better, hold tune better and do all the things you want it to do, look no further. Bill Crook is the best in the business. Met him years ago, uh, Brad Paisley uh, gave a recommendation to me after a show and uh, said, this guy can build whatever you want. Look at the tellies you play, it makes for me. And that was my first one just within a week I had ordered. And let me tell you something, seven guitars later, this being number seven, I could not be happier with his work. Check him out at crookcustomguitars.com. And by all means, give him a call. Look up his number on there, shoot him an email. He can answer whatever questions you would have and he can build you the best Telecaster, Stratocaster, Jazzmaster, Les Paul Jr. style 
you name it, he can build it, and he's going to build it better than the other guys, okay? <laughs> By all means, call Bill Crook, makes great guitars. Um, so we're going to start off with this guitar. I'm really honored to own this. Like I said, Bill Duff, a guy who had it before me, um, and a guy in the, 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 uh, the area around me had purchased it and had put it up for sale because he was fun funding something else and I was tickled pink to find it. Uh, it's an honor for me to have this guitar and uh, I wanna let you hear it today. So um, again, the pickups, this is a Peter Florence Voodoo pickup. That alone had me interested in the guitar. This one is one of the uh, ABC pickups, neck pickups that Bill had from years ago and they sound phenomenal, really great pickups. Uh, so a, a rare combo of uh, of, of guitar pickups here and uh, I'm gonna let you hear that bridge at Florence there first, okay? <laughs> telly it doesn't bite your head off it's got a rich sound in that bridge pickup and you know I'm, I mean this is full blast on this if I tone that back and uh, I mean it just sounds great so um, I, I love that pickup let's hear it with some dirt on it because I love playing with dirt Tellies in general, and especially Bill's guitars, uh, pickup combinations always sound great and smooth and sweet here.
relic work I have ever seen in my life. Don't bug Bill about it, <laughs> but um, uh, he does great work and anything that he does is my point in bringing up how great that work was. And uh, it, you know what I think is great about that is it shows you also that he pays attention to his customer. He changed the neck out for one customer because uh, you know uh, the second owner of this guitar was a longtime customer who wanted a rosewood board and a big fat neck. So that happened. That, that was changed around uh, you know uh, after the guitar had been through its first owner's hands. And I think that's great. That shows you the kind of guy Bill is. Um, he is the kind of guy who pays attention to his customers. He wants them to be happy with the guitar they get. And guess what? He's got a pretty great success rate at that because he makes fantastic guitars. Crook Custom Guitars, if you see one, buy it. Don't wait. If you can't find one, no problem. Call Bill Crook. He'll build you one. Best guitars on the market by all means. Check them out. Thanks for joining us today on the Guitar Log. And I want to remind you again, hit like and subscribe. If you've got a crook, let's talk guitars. If you're interested in a crook, shoot me a message. I'm glad to tell you my perspective as a player on every one of the guitars he's built for me. And I'm going to tell you, um, I, I just love guitars. I'm always trading them around. You get a chance to hear them in the room with me and here on these videos. And uh, I always want to help people when they're trying to find the right thing for them and chasing that tone. So by all means, uh, shoot me a message, subscribe to the channel, keep coming back, and good luck in your pursuit of tone.